At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Hey guys, and welcome back to this Two Point Hospital Let's Play. So, uh, we've got a bit of an issue, I think. We've got 19 people in queues over here. They're all wandering around in circles, trying to have a drink, trying to throw stuff in the bin, looking at this leaflet. And, and to be honest, the layout isn't that great. I mean, that is maybe one of the issues. I could probably do with moving that. But I think the first step is probably going to be to put at least another pharmacy and another, uh, what's this? This is a general diagnosis. So I'm going to get one on each of those, put them over here by our GP's office, and that's probably going to help us on our way. Or at least, fingers crossed, it does. So where is, and we also we still haven't got that injection room in, so we do need to get onto that. So we're trying to work towards our three star hospital now. Um, let's try and get that done and uh, that will really be a success. So we've got a few three star hospitals and then we'll have a look at what we can get onto next. And uh, there's, always, there's always fun starting a new hospital, but it's really nice when you get a hospital like this one, which really comes together and you can just keep on working on it and you can just make it better and better and better. In an ideal world, I'd probably think about flipping the whole place around and re redoing it, putting in everything new, but you kind of have to wait for the money to build up for that and, you know, I, d I just don't have the patience for all that. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of do incremental improvements and pretty much just George hope for the best, I guess. Um, we'll need a radiator in there. Um, it's probably not the best place to put it, actually, is it? I'll put it next to, this, next to the side like that. Um, and let's get a plant in here. And, um, yeah, let's get a couple of plants in there. And let's try and get it up to level 3 prestigious. Um, there we go, up to level 3, lovely. Uh, sell that, those two invalid items. Oh, we've got staff training required, so who are you? So Cuthbert Basket and Ava Wood both want training. So let's get you in there and let's get... So Ava Wood and where's Cuthbert Basket? Let's get them doing something that they both can do. Cuthbert Basket, there we go. And then let's get them training. So we get, let's get them doing both. You know, we could do with some stamina or motivation. Uh, let's get them doing some motivation. Um, who's going to be the best? You're 140%. So I'm guessing, to be honest, I just keep using this guy for training everyone. Um, and who else can I chuck in there? So who else do we need? It'd be good to have some more of my GPs trained up with this. So you, yeah, there we go. And then maybe one of our treatment nurses. So where are you? So mm, student doctors, senior janitor, senior nurse. Yeah, you're not really, you're my ward ones, but that's fine. We'll get you training, so off you go. And we'll come back over here. Probably gonna need to hire some more nurses anyway. So let's get you because you're good in the pharmacy. Lovely. Um, and you're good in the pharmacy and the ward, so we'll hire you. Um, and we need a general diagnosis over us here as well, don't we? We'll keep this space open in the middle. We've got a bit of space now. We don't need all this, you know, we don't need anything, everything cramped in. Um, in fact, what I really should have done is I probably should have made it bigger. So we'll get a door in there and we'll get a couple windows in. And I'll go back and make the pharmacy a little bit... Um, I'll make the pharmacy a little bit bigger as well because... It's good to have the rooms a bit bigger. You can fit more stuff in. It doesn't look so cramped. Um, but then also, it, it's an easy way to increase the prestigiousness of the room. Prestigiousness is a room word. I don't know, but you know what? I'm going with it. So let's get a radiator in by the side here. Um, right in there. Lovely. Um, is there anything else I could put in here? I think there's like a... Isn't there like a... Um, Oh no, that's for the cardiology, that weird kind of um, frame thing. Don't really want to spend 400 of my 420 on, on a medicine cabinet room. So what we'll do is get a food pyramid. Um, well, let's get a certificate on the wall. Bronze star award, oh no, not in the middle, that's not great. Um, let's get a clock in there and a chair in the corner. Um, I thought I could get up to the level 4, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, to be honest. 
put a couple plants in there. Um, we don't really need a sweet dispenser or a drinking fountain, so let's, you know, let's leave it at that. It's level three, that's fine. Um, you're being treated, but I wouldn't mind adding on. There we go. And let's add you in there, you in there, and you on there. And let's put you over there. Um, let's throw in another yucca next to you. Lovely. Go. Um, I don't know what's embedded. Yep, the window, fine. Okay, lovely. So where are we now? Is anyone gonna come and get treated in there? So that should be fine. So I've got my training done. So what do we need? Staff training. So I can't train you, not now. Go away. Wow, everyone wants promoted. The senior janitor, um, doctor to junior doctor. Hmm, only cured three out of my five. I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to that. Um, promotion, promotion. Promotion. I like to keep everyone happy, and I wonder whether this is going to be my downfall. Staff promotion. Everyone's getting promoted. So what have we got? We've got... We do have a staff room there, and we have a staff room there, so I probably don't need a staff room here. We have a toilets there, and a toilets there. Well, I could probably do with another toilets. This guy's got stuck in the corner. Um, yeah, they all kind of get stuck around the hand dryer. There you go. Wash your hands, mate. Maintenance announcement. Automated stack machines need restocking. There we go. Lovely. Dry your hands. Off we go. So here we go. So we've got pretty much everything in. Um, I think what we could do with this, we could do with an injection room, couldn't we? So let's get one of those in here. I imagine it's a small one, but we can probably fit a bigger one in there if we want. What's that leave space for down there? I don't know. Staff room, maybe, it is the furthest extent of this um, place. So it's a pretty, um, yeah, intense injection table, that, isn't it? You lie down, it looks like you go in, and then this huge needle goes into you. So I'll be looking, interested to see how that jab master comes together. I'm not a big fan of injections, I have to say. Um, I, don't, I don't know why people don't mind them because I think they're the, some of the scariest things out there but you know what that is life and they keep you healthy and they keep you safe so keep it secret keep it safe um right so here we go we've got a few things on the wall to kind of keep everything in check um and a clock as well because everyone needs a clock um, I'm not really sure what these chairs are used for. I'm not sure if anyone ever does actually use them, but someone can sit right by the um, someone can sit right by the uh, radiator there and have a nice sit down. So there we go. So we've got a new room, the injection room. Looking forward to that. So it gets one nurse. So hopefully that comes along shortly. Um, and what we'll do is we'll throw in some silver benches. I don't actually know whether there's any difference with the benches or whether they literally are just different colours. Uh, for anyone who's played any games like The Sims in their past, um, oh no, oh no, he's died. That's not great, is it? Oh, oh, and he disappeared. Does he turn into a? Do no, he didn't turn into a ghost. Well, that I am truly grateful for because we do not want a ghost. But as I was saying, in something like The Sims, what they have is they have different like seats and things, and they all have different levels of quality essentially and so if you have like a particular bench then it would it would make you more comfortable um, so it would have a different comfort rating um, but I don't think they have that on here um, they should I think that's a good idea for them to have that to be honest but um, you know what we'll have to get to that in due course the developers are doing a great job of this game they keep on updating it I haven't had a go on the sandbox mode yet uh, that is something I do want to do um, this room hasn't been used yet. I'm going to edit it and I am... I don't know why, it's a bit stupid because I haven't used it, but I'm going to buy a cannon. Um, just for hilarity more than anything else. Uh, a cannon in the corner there. Lovely. Oh, I want those circus lights. This is, this is one of the best rooms actually. Circus lights, everything is great. And I like the way the lights on that actually light up things around it. It's very clever. 
Very well done. So hopefully someone comes and uses that at some point. So my value of my hospital is a bit low, so let's get a bit of speed up. So you need the toilet, so does that mean I need the toilets over here? Um, the value of my hospital is a bit low, so I'm going to buy one of them. Um, and I haven't cured enough patients, and also my thermal comfort's very low, so... How do I get my thermal comfort up to 90%? That's astronomical. I think I really probably have to use some of these large radiators and little radiators and stuff, so... Let's see, so yeah, you guys around here are all going to be cold, aren't you? So that's good, that'll improve that in there. Um, still only 73%, so this is where an area, I guess, where you need a small radiator, right in the middle. Keep everyone happy. But I don't know whether this is too dark, you know? Is that keeping everyone too warm? Um, is that good? I'm not, I'm not really sure, like in here, people can't be enjoying that really, can they? So let's get rid of that one. Um, and let's put a small... We don't even need a small radiator in there, do we? Not really. Okay. Um, what do we need over here? It might be better to put in, like, a small radiator there. Well, how are you being heated? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put a small radiator in there. But did that improve? I have a feeling that made it worse in here. Um... And you probably have to go in the corner there. So how are you doing now? So let's pick up another small radiator. Is it too hot in there? Oh, that fire keeps it warm in there, doesn't it? So let's get it rid of you. Let's put a little radiator in there just to... I just... I guess just to take the chill off a little bit. Um, and maybe I should actually move... What I'll do is I'll move that over there. And I'll move you over a bit. And that will probably keep the temperature a little bit better in there. So that's a little bit better. Not perfect by any means. But getting up to 90% is going to be impossible. Oh. I see. I see where I've gone wrong there. Alright. That's taken my... That's taken my thermal comfort way up. So let's, let's just leave that at that, that. Fiddling around with the... Location of a fireplace wasn't really necessary, it turns out. Okay, so we've got an injection room in. We've got a few more of these rooms in here. Um, we've got fast speed. We're making a bit of money. We've got fracture in in emergency. Cure 40 patients. So I just need to cure another 95 patients. So I don't really know how I get more people in here any quicker. And cure people any quicker. So maybe I could do with another fracture clinic, I suppose. Let's get one of them in. Um, let's put one of those down here. So it's in, in a completely different place. So I wonder if I can fit it in here. I can. I'm going to put that all the way along the back wall there. I might even add in a little bit of extra area. And I wonder if I can... Yeah, like that. That's nice, actually. Big fan of that layout. Okay, there we go. Big fan of that. Ward door. Let's throw you in here, just in case I do want to put anything in there. I might make this bit smaller later, because... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how that happened. Um, I might make you a bit smaller in a minute, because, to be quite honest, it seems a bit ridiculous, but we'll see what happens. So those guys are going to go, so we'll put that in there. We've got a plaster caster. Or a plaster caster, depending on where you were from. Um, that's lovely. Um, let's get some traction beds in here. Shall I get them in tightly again? Yeah, I think I may as well. Three, four, five. That's good. Can I fit another one in this wall? I can. Lovely. So that's a good set of set of things in there. Do I need changing rooms in this place? No, that's weird actually. So in the normal ward you need a changing room, but in this one you don't. I don't know. They just lie down in their normal clothes and just hope for the best. Um, I suppose, you know, you'd probably just cut them out of their clothes really, wouldn't you? Because they've probably broken something, so you don't want them to be undoing their clothes for themselves. This room is going to be absolutely lovely. A few, a few little bedside tables down here, just in case they need to use them for serving out the food. Nice long table there. Maybe they'll do a buffet. That'd be nice, a little buffet along that wall. 
Uh, no, I do not want to cancel editing that room. Not in the slightest. Click bin in. And we are going to need some radiators. Um, I don't know how really. Might be a case of a small radiator in there, a small radiator in there, a small radiator in there. So I haven't got any plants. So we'll get a plant in there. We'll get a plant in there. So that's nice. So I'll sell those three invalid items. So that's lovely. So we've got a great fracture ward in there. What we'll do is we'll ramp this up. So we'll get three staff in there, and that should be good. Um, that should take the weight off those guys, but I do need to hire more nurses, I think. Um, well, you're a good nurse, but unfortunately, you haven't got anything in the way of ward work. So, so there's no one in these staff rooms, so I don't know why I make them so big and so frequent. I mean, what else can I put in here to make them happier with it? Uh, I suppose it was three people in there for a second there. What else can I give them that they would like? I give them a bean bag. Yeah, let's get a bean bag in there. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's get a bean bag. We Google. We are a tech firm. We need bean bags. We're definitely not a hospital at all. There we go. That'll do for now. Okay. Right guys, so we've been, uh, I've been playing around a bit, I've put in another x-ray room down here. Made it a bit ridiculous because they wanted a level 5 room. Um, I've also put in a new psychiatric room over here, I haven't got a doctor for that but I'll get to that in due course. And we've got 199 patients cured, we're just about to get our last one. So where are you going to be? And there we go, 3 star hospital guys. So, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a 3-star rating. I take considerable vicarious pleasure in your victory over the allegedly great outdoors. Hospital Administration 1, Mother Nature 0. So there we go, bit more cash bonus, bit more kudosh. I did have to spend a bit, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but I get the luxury drinks machine there as well, so there we go. So, we're going to leave it there, but just before we do that, we're going to pop out to the world. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the career goals. So we've cured 100 patients, we can collect that one. We earned a million, so we can collect that one. Earned a thousand kudos, we can collect that one. Three stars and tumble, collect. Um, what else have we got? Repaired 100 machines, watered 100 plants, unblocked 100 toilets, restocked 100 vending machines, upgraded 5 plants and trained 20 staff. Wow, well, we have done a lot, haven't we? So we're doing pretty well now. Um, we've got, well, we've got a hell of a lot of kudosh there. We've got three stars there, two stars there, one star there. We could probably go back and do that again. That was flottering. Three stars in our first one and two stars in our lower bullocks. So, you know, we're doing pretty well. Um, so a hospital in the wealthy town of Flemington. So we could get onto that one next. That's really our next achievement. So I think that's really where we need to head to next time. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.